Hi, this is Kevin Buzzard and this is the second video about how to do uh, the current course I'm teaching, Introduction to University Mathematics, uh, how to do parts of this course uh, using the Lean Theorem Prover. So uh, this is the, the GitHub home page for that course uh, and I guess we're taking the course in October 2021 so we should click here. Uh, and I'm still doing logic, so let's click on logic here. And you see, we, if we do it this way, this is a way of uh, playing along without actually ever installing Lean itself. So I already did a video about sheet one. Let's do a, let's have a look at sheet two then. Uh, and here it is. Uh, so we can do Lean without installing Lean, but unfortunately it's slow. We're going to have to wait until Lean is busy turns into Lean is ready. Let's just have a look and see what kind of things we'll be proving here. Uh, all these are little you know, levels in this puzzle game. We're trying to prove things like false implies true and false implies false, or you know, true implies false implies true implies false implies true implies false. Uh, so, you know, these cunning little logic puzzles and uh, the things we're gonna need to know is uh, the new tactics, other than intro, apply and exact, which I talked about last time, the new tactics of the trivial tactic, uh, that's how you prove a true statement and the ex falso tactic, uh, which is how you turn any uh, any statement at all into the statement uh, into the statement false. So okay, so this is finally processed. Lean is ready. If you've installed Lean uh, yourself on your own computer, then you don't have to do that wait. Uh, it'll just fire up automatically. Uh, but let's go. Uh, we've got to prove uh, we've got to prove a true statement is true, and the way to do that is the trivial tactic. So if we do that, uh, there we go, we get no goals. Uh, if, we, if we had lean installed, it would say goals accomplished. Uh, but uh, this just says no goals and we better delete this. Sorry, we're apologizing that we don't need to apologize. Uh, so that's done that first off. You see one of the little green dots there just disappeared. We've got to get rid of all the green dots. That's there. Uh, so true implies true and false implies true. Those are not so difficult. Let's do, let's do false implies false because false implies false is true, right? Uh, so let's do intro H. Uh, and now we're in a sort of a rather interesting situation. We have a, we have a, a hypothesis which is false and uh, we're trying to prove a goal which is also false. So that's kind of funny, but uh, I guess we could just do that with the uh, exact H, right? Uh, so there we go. Yeah, we've done that one. No goals and let's delete the sorry. Uh, and so, you know, there's this kind of, it's sort of slightly... You can get slightly confused if you're trying to understand what's going on here. Like we're trying to prove that true implies false implies false. And so we could do intro H here. Uh, and now we've got a hypothesis that true implies false. And we've got to prove something false. Well, how can we prove something false? I mean, the, the point is, you know, this hypothesis is also false. And so, you know, maybe we should be able to do, for example, uh, this hypothesis says that something true implies something false. And if we apply that, apply H, uh, then our goal will change, right? Our goal used to be you had to prove something false and now you've got to prove something true. And uh, so we can prove that with trivial. You see, so there you go. And delete the sorry. And we've done that level. Uh, we've done that level there. Uh, so if P is any statement, true or false, uh, then a false statement will imply it. Uh, so let's let's see if we can do false implies P. So intro... Uh, intro H, this is the other tactic you need to know. So we've got to prove an arbitrary proposition P and we have uh, a hypothesis which is false. But the uh, X falso tactic uh, will turn an arbitrary goal into a false goal. And so now you see, uh, now you see we can do this. We could say exact H. If you know about the assumption tactic, we could also use the assumption tactic. So there you go, that's done that one. So there's some, you know, some slightly more complicated rather goofy goals uh, involving true and false statements. Uh, I, won't, I won't do the rest, I'll leave those for you. But if we go back now, uh, we could see that was that was sheet two. Let's do sheet three uh, because I've not been talking for too long. So uh, what does sheet three look like? Sheet three, uh, sheet three involves not, uh, not P. So the thing you have to know about uh, not P uh, is that in lean, not P is defined to mean P implies false. So let's let's just do this first example. We've got to prove that not P implies that P implies false. So this is this is a slightly counterintuitive fact. We we do intro H because we're trying to prove that something implies something. 
uh, oh, Lean is still busy, so we're going to have to wait. Uh, we can have a look while we're waiting. We can have a look at uh, what we're supposed to be doing. So we're trying to prove things like false implies not true and not false implies true, things like this. Uh, so intro H. So H is the hypothesis uh, that not P is true, uh, but not P is by definition P implies false. So we could um, we could close this goal with exact H. Uh, you see, because so there you go. It's, it's worked. We've got no goals. And what's going on here is that of, of course it's true that not P is logically equivalent to P implies false. But the thing that's the thing you need to understand is that not P is by definition. P implies false and lead. The definition of that symbol not uh, is, is the not, not X is defined to mean X implies false. So if you find that a bit confusing, uh, you can use the change tactic. You can do change uh, P implies false uh, at H. And then you see, uh, and then there we go. You see this, this change tactic. You see not P and P implies false are literally the same. You know, not P is by definition P implies false. And the change tactic will work to change something which is equal to something else by definition. Uh, and similarly, I guess we could, uh, instead of doing it, so then you see that the proof still works, exact H works fine. Uh, but, you know, sort of the interesting thing is you can comment that tactic out and the proof and the proof still works. You see, if we put our cursor here, we still see there's no goals. Uh, and another thing we could do, instead of changing P and plus, we could also, we could also change the goal to not P. Uh, uh, we could do that and get rid of that line. And now you can see again, the hypothesis is not P and the goal is not P. So exact H. So, uh, so there you go. You see, like intro, let's do intro H here. You see, not, not true is logically equivalent to false, uh, but you can't change, you can't do change false at H because change won't change something to something logically equivalent. You see, that's given us an error. Uh, Change will only change something to something which is equal by definition. And not true is, you see, change uh, true implies false. That's H there. That's what not true is by definition equal to. True implies false. And so, so you know, now, now you can see you, you can go on from there and, uh, and try and prove that level. Let me, let me show you an example where you would need to use... Uh, Let's. What was the other tactic? Is by contra. Let me show you. Let me show you an example of by contra. I guess. Uh, I guess not. Not p implies p. One would need to use by contra here. Uh, so if I do intro h, this one here. Now my hypothesis is not not p. So of course I could change that to uh, you know not p implies false if you like, just so we can see what that. Oh no, I can't. Uh, oh, as h. Yes, I can. Uh, so there you can, you know, or we could even change it to P implies false implies false. But uh, I want to prove this one by contradiction. You see, we've got something implies false, but pr the problem is the goal isn't false. The goal is P. So let's do by contra, uh, by contra HP. And now you see the goal has become false and we have a hypothesis of not P. And so now you can see now all the ingredients are there uh, to do this level. Uh, so there's how to do some of the levels uh, in Worlds 2 and 3. Uh, thanks very much for watching.